Hey guys, you are back with Topless Baker and this week I have got a sweet treat for you because we are going to turn macaroons on their head and we are going to make macaroon lollipops. These are perfect for a little birthday party or wedding favours, anything like that. So I'm going to show you my macaroon recipe. I have done this on my YouTube channel before but I've got loads of good tips for you so I want to show you how to make them. The first step is to sift your almonds and your icing sugar in a bowl. Now, if you have a food processor, definitely blend these beforehand because that really helps give you a smooth macaroon. But tip this into your bowl and you just want to make sure you sift out any of those lumps because we don't want any lumps going into our macaroons. And look at that little icing sugar storm we've got going on. So, look at that. Once that is all in, shake in your ground almonds just like this. Here we go. And again, that kind of gets out those lumps, but if you put it through a food processor, oh, you're gonna have no lumps whatsoever. Push that through with the back of your hand until all of that is in. So once you've got that all in, the next stage, we are gonna add a pop of color to this. So I've got half of my egg whites here, which is 55 grams, and I'm gonna put my food coloring into this. And I'm using violet for these, so anything kind of purple, and you want to squeeze in loads, okay? You want to make these really vibrant, really colorful, and just mix this through. Now, when you mix it, it looks a little bit blue, and you're probably saying, Topless Baker, you've got the wrong food coloring, but I promise you, it will turn purple, I promise. So give that a mix until that color's distributed throughout the egg white, and then we can pop it into our mixture. So just stir that through until most of that color is incorporated, and then we're gonna pour it into this mixture here. So in we go with that, and it looks blue. I know it looks blue, but I promise you, now when we give it a stir, stir that through and you'll see the purple. It will live on, I promise. And now at this point, you can also add more color. So if you think it's not bright enough, don't panic because we can add way more color later on. That's absolutely fine. You can see it's turning into this kind of sticky mess. And this is exactly what we want. Don't worry if it's clumping together, that's what we're looking for. And there, look at that vibrant purple that's coming through. That is what we want. And we're just getting all this stickiness off the bottom. And then you are left with this big kind of a lump of sticky purple dough, okay? And look at that vibrancy, exactly what you want. We're gonna pop that to one side while we get on with our meringue. So in order to make your meringue, what you're gonna do is add the rest of your egg whites into a mixing bowl, and you're gonna whack that on a medium to full speed until it gets nice and frothy. While that is mixing away, you wanna boil your sugar and your water in a pan until it's 118 degrees Celsius, okay? So I'm gonna use a digital thermometer to measure that, but whack this on full speed, and then we can go put that in a pan and combine the two. So once my water and sugar hit 118 degrees C, I poured that into my mixer and whacked that onto full speed and whipped it for about five minutes. And then you are left with this really stiff, glossy peaks, okay? That is exactly what you're looking for. I can tip that on my head and it's not gonna drop on me, I hope. Okay, so take this meringue mixture and we're gonna start folding it into the almond mixture that we had earlier, okay? so. Take a spoonful, you can take about a third now. And what you're looking to do is balance the two mixtures. Because at the moment, this is really thick and stodgy and this is really light and fluffy. And you want to balance the two so they're similar textures. So take a little bit, you want to introduce Mr. Meringue to Mr. Almond and Icing Sugar. And you just want to stir them through. You want to give them a mix, you want them to hug and come together. And you want to just bring this temperature this temperature? What am I talking about? You want to bring this mixture as close together as possible, okay? So mix through, mixing, mixing, scooping up from the bottom, because sometimes you can get some of that mixture stuck at the bottom of your bowl. And once that meringue is incorporated, look at that color, it looks amazing. Once it's all incorporated, you start adding the rest of your meringue, okay? So scoop that in. We're gonna do this in thirds. So this is our second third going in. Scoop this in and again, mix it through. Incorporate that meringue into the almond mixture until everything is nicely mixed. 
So once you've scooped in your final lot of meringue, this is quite a key part. So what we're looking to do is fold this until the mixture comes to a ribbon stage and almost settles on itself in about 10 seconds. Now this can take about a minute, two minutes of really stirring, okay? So I'll show you what I mean when I get it, but I'm gonna stir this for about a minute, two minutes until I get that ribbon stage that I'm looking for. So I've been mixing for about 45 seconds and you can see the mixture is still quite thick and when I drop it in on itself it's just kind of sitting there, it's not settling down yet. So that means I need to keep mixing until I loosen this mixture up. So now I've mixed for about two minutes and when I dangle it up I see the mixture kind of falling in on itself when it takes about eight to 10 seconds and then it is completely flat. And that is what you're looking for. That's when you know you've mixed your macaroon enough. So I need to pop this into a piping bag and we can start piping away. So once your mixture is in your piping bag, all you've got to do now is pipe and whip and then our macaroons are nearly ready, okay? So pop it down, you want to start all the way pointing upwards, okay? Not at an angle and we pipe and whip. Pipe. Whip, pipe, whip. So once these are all piped out, you wanna leave these at room temperature for about 20 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes. And this gets a skin on top of your macaroon, which basically means when they bake, the air goes underneath and it gives the macaroon those cute little feet that you're looking for, okay? So leave those and then they go in the oven at 160C for 12 minutes, okay? Not a minute longer and then allow them to cool completely. Our macaroons are completely cooked and cooled and they look fantastic. They've got these cute little feet underneath, really vibrant color. And now we're gonna jazz them up with a little bit of gold, okay? So what I've got here is like gold sugar flare powder. And to that, I'm gonna add a splash of vodka. I'm just gonna flick gold all over these to really make them pop. And then we are so close to being done with our macaroon lollipops. So add in your gold dust just into a little cup tap it in and then just a splash of vodka okay and this is just going to add as the liquid and we'll mix this together just like that and look you get this really vibrant gold color which we can flick all over our macaroons now our macaroons have been completely flicked with gold and i've also flicked on a little stripe as well and while those are kind of drying off, what we're gonna do is make the ganache to go in the middle. So I've got some white chocolate here and some hot cream. So I'm gonna pour this cream over the top of my chocolate and we're just gonna kind of let this sit so that it melts away for about two minutes and then it will thicken up, we're gonna let it cool. We can pipe it in the middle of our macaroons and we have got our lollipops, people. The ganache is cooled, I popped it into a piping bag and all there is left to do is to pipe it onto our macaroon shells, put our little lollipop stick in it, and our lovely macaroon lollipops are done. So grab your piping bag, we're just gonna pipe a dollop in the middle, wedge it on, and we're done. Once you've added the other shell on top, the only thing to do is to add the lollipop. Now, I've put a cute little bow on my lollipop stick, totally optional, you don't have to do that but I like it, and if you've got some spare ribbon lying around the house, why not? And just push your stick in, and there you go, guys, you have your finished lollipop macaroon. Now, if your stick is still sliding around a little bit, pop it in the freezer for five minutes, and then lift it up. And look at how cute that is! Oh my gosh, when you bring these to a party, people are gonna be impressed. So, that's my Topless Baker lollipop macaroon. I hope you liked it, and don't forget to subscribe to Topless Baker for more baking goodness every week. I'll catch you guys next week. Bye! Blooper, that's a blooper. So once our water and sugar hit 118 degrees C, I poured it into my wick near.